Mina, Konnichiwa, Jesus Freaking Gamer here, coming at you with more Job. This is coming out of chapter 15. And let's start with verse 1. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, Should a wise man answer with empty knowledge and fill himself with the east wind? Should he reason with unprofitable talk or by speeches with which he can do no good? Yes, you cast off fear and restrain prayer before God. For your iniquity teaches your mouth, and you choose the tongue of the crafty. Your own mouth condemns you, and not I. Yes, your own lips testify against you. Are you the first man who was born? Or were you made before the hills? Have you heard the counsel of God? Do you limit wisdom to yourself? What do you know that we do not know? What do you understand that is not in us? But the, both the gray-haired and the aged are among us, much older than your father. Are the consolations of God too small for you, and the words spoken gently with you? Why does your heart carry you away? And what do your eyes wink at? that you turn your spirit against God and let such words go out of your mouth. And of course, Job's, this friend of Job, this, this particular comforter who, like all the others, did a really horrible job, he just assumes that Job is in the wrong. He says his, that iniquity teaches his mouth and he chooses the tongue of the crafty. And I'm like, yeah, Job was expressing doubts about like, well, you know, why am I suffering? I haven't done anything wrong. Um, apparently, the righteous and the wicked both suffer. And I'm like, what? What did he? What did Job say that was particularly wrong? What did Job say that was against God? What did Job? Job said, "I wish I could speak with God. I wish I, you know, had an answer to this why question." But he didn't curse God. He didn't condemn God. He didn't turn away from God. He's like, "Yeah, God's in control." But I'd like to know why he's doing this to me who has done nothing wrong. What's going on here? I'm like, how is, how is Job's tongue condemning him? How is Job's mouth testifying against him? That makes no sense. Why does he think that his spirit's against God? And, let, and he lets such words go out of his mouth. What, the words coming out of his mouth is, you know, why is God doing this to me? I've done nothing wrong. God is righteous. So apparently he destroys the wicked and the righteous equally. Job wasn't saying anything wrong, but his friend just insisted on saying, you're, you're saying this wrong, you're getting this confused, when Job hadn't gotten this confused at all. Once again, the end of the book of Job, God himself clearly speaks out and says, Job has spoken of, of me what is right, you three have spoken of me what is wrong. Now get a sacrifice together, Job will pray for you, and I will forgive you. I'm just looking at the and again, reading up through chapter 15, I'm like, what did Job had his questions, but he never said anything evil. He, he did question, you know, why is, you know, apparently God destroys the good and the wicked alike. Apparently he oppresses both. I really wish I could talk to the guy and find out what's going on. But having an honest and sincere question is not the same as turning against God or restraining prayer. Guys, when we go to comfort someone, when we're going to someone who's having a hard time, we need to be really, really careful to not just jump to conclusions and draw evidence out of things that are not there. It's almost like his friend wasn't even listening to him because Job, again, never cursed God. He never said, I'm going to stop praying or, you know, forget you, God, I don't need you anymore. You've turned against me. Job never did anything like that. But this guy's like, your lips condemn you. Your tongue is a crafty, wicked tongue. Why? Where? Job said nothing of that sort. It's like he, he's, getting, he's getting something out of completely nothing. It's almost like it's past the point of assumptions there. He's just saying, he's taking what Job is saying and completely twisting it out of context. We need to be really careful, whether it's a friend or whether it's like a ministry opportunity, to be very careful to hear people out all the way, see what they're saying, and see if it makes sense, and not try to put words in their mouth and try to make a convenient answer for ourselves when they're the ones that are in need of help. It's really, it's foolish to do what Job's friends did. So another, pretty much we learned another thing not to do from one of Job's friends here. We learned we don't make assumptions, we pay more attention, we're a bit more specific, and we don't try to read into their words something that isn't there or said at all. We need to be much more careful as human beings, friends, family, and as ministers. Guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.